Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is TG Gaming. I'm so happy you guys can be with me today. Guys, getting right into today's video, I thought about possibly doing maybe like a Overwatch um, review of my own opinion and basically how I feel that Overwatch is doing currently right now. Now, a lot of people do these reviews when... You know, the game just barely comes out, or an IGN actually does it a day before it comes out. But I feel like a review should be done a l about a week or two after the game is out, after everyone's had a chance to play it, after everyone understands the feel, and everyone knows kind of who counters who, the nook, the crannies, all pretty much the things that make everyone else a douchebag. Um, everyone knows how to exploit the game and use the game to work in their advantage. So I figured I'd do a small review of that particular idea, um, and I feel like this could only be achieved after a couple weeks of the game has been out. Um, so yeah, I mean the game, basically how it's flowing right now, it's very fun, it's very, um, you know, I, I'm really enjoying it, I'm really liking it, um, it's really, really fun. That's what I can say about the game right now. Now there are, there will be DLC, new characters, um, you know, they'll have their own abilities, uh, new levels, I hope, and hopefully new game modes. I haven't done any research into that personally. I will be doing extensive research into that. I will be trying to find out for you guys if there will be um, more type of game modes for us. Because right now, so far, there's only really three, which is okay, but I'm really not, uh, like, I'm not really not crazy about it. Um so let me just start off with the pros of the game. So it's, like I said, it was really fun. Um, and it adds a new kind of gameplay. You know, that's really fun. It's, uh, it's really cool to see that it forces you to use teamwork and, and utilize that and understand the game. You can't just run in blunt guns blazing and, um, you know, focus on the team. You can see here I'm, I'm, I'm using Soldier 76, and he really is, the only thing he really has to help the team is his help uh, his little health uh, grenade that he just lays down um, that can really help the team but I feel like soldier 76 is the guy that doesn't sit there on the objective he's the guy that sits on the outskirts of the objective and deals a lot of damage to those big tanks and that's kind of what really I find best the way he works but that's for me personally I understand there's probably a lot of people out there that use um, him very differently than I do but that's the way I use Soldier 76 is I sit on the outskirts, I shoot in, and that's kind of what I do. And that's the way I learn how to play with Soldier 76. So there's different characters that play very differently. Like Reinhardt, he's the guy that's really on the objective. He's really in your face. He's really aggressive. Same thing with Reaper, really in your face. McCree, really in your face. You've got to play them really, you have to play them that way. You know, with things, uh, players like... Um, you know, like I said, Soldier 76, Widowmaker, um, maybe uh, even um, Roadhog. You know, Roadhog's a guy you play very in your face. Widowmaker, you play back. You play distant. Uh, Hanzo, you play distant. Uh, Soldier 76, you play about mid-range. I like to play right on the outskirts of the objective. Uh, Widowmaker and Hanzo, I like to play a little bit further back, but that's just me. Anyways. So there's different characters you have to learn how to play, and they all interact with the team with the team in its own way, um, which is really cool, and it's a way for people to understand. And you need to figure out and understand how those play, how those characters work, which is really really awesome. And there's not really a game that really forces you to play with the team and you know understand your player in this way. And we don't really see that too much in online games very much anymore. Um, so, and it's very beneficial to people to play player, uh, heroes, excuse me, to their strengths. Um, like I said, Widowmaker, she's very distant. Hanzo, very distant. So, you know, play your characters to your strengths, and that's really great. That's just really awesome of how they do this and the way it does. Um, another thing is, guys, the way it looks. It looks gorgeous, phenomenal. I love the way that um this whole game looks it's that very cartoon kind of feel but i love those types of games especially this competitive multiplayer it's really fun i'm really really enjoying it this game is super addictive and then you know you go in and you have uh, those little things like microtransactions with the supply drops i don't know why but those supply drops are really strangely addictive i don't know i just don't know why 
It's they're addictive. I love opening them. When I get a loot uh, loot box, I love opening it. And when you see a legendary pop out, you're like, whoa, what is it gonna be? So it's really fun and it's really kind of cool to see what's gonna come out of it. It's it's um I and it um if you get duplicates, it actually allows you to turn it into currency. So that's really nice that it automatically does that. Same thing with Call of Duty. Call of Duty does the same thing with their supply drops, but uh, this way it does it automatically. So it's really cool. Um, the only cons, I only have two cons that I could say about this game, and that is that there is a lot of camping. That's that's reality of it. But then again, this is attack and a, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a very attack defense type game. Um, that's just kind of how it is. Uh, so you can't get really too mad at that. I'm not crazy about camping, but it, it essentially is a part of the game, and you learn to play with it. Um, the other thing is that there's a, quite a few pa players right now that are really overpowered. Um, I I know this is going to come out. Uh, no, a lot of people are thinking about it. McCree is very one that is overpowered. He is extremely OP. Um, I don't know if you guys agree with this. I'm just saying this. Winston, I feel like his... Um, you know, his HP needs to be dropped down just a, a tad bit. I feel like he's has too much, um, too much there. He needs just to be a little less OP in my opinion. Um, you know, because he can just jump in, do a whole lot of damage and just wreck everybody and then jump out, find a healing bar and then come right back in. And I just feel like he's a little bit OP, but that's just me. I don't know. I haven't seen anybody else talk about it. So I'm talking about it. This is all my opinion. Um, I like Winston. I like playing with him, but even when I play with him, I feel like I'm a little bit overpowered. I feel the same way with McCree, but you know, there's a lot of adjusting and tweaking to do and a lot of things we can't expect like that. Um, but you know, as so far, I don't feel like it's that big of an issue. Um, in my opinion, this is a fantastic game. I feel like it's going to replace a lot of things. It's pretty much, um, getting, you know, Battleborn is pretty much getting washed under the rug with this, um, because it really is uh, that just that really competitive, awesome multiplayer that everyone loves. Um, I really recommend it to you guys. Um, if you guys want to go check it out at GameStop, they sell it. Really, uh, you know, you could bet you now. I bet you now, from the time for making this video, you can probably get a pre-owned version for probably ten dollars cheaper, maybe. But I really do enjoy it. Um, and if you guys really did enjoy this video, please smash that like button and subscribe for more things that are awesome gaming. There's going to be a lot of awesome content coming out, you guys. You know, you got Minecraft Hunger Games coming out soon. You got, um, you know, you got, uh, what's that? No Man's Sky is coming out uh, right after that. And then later on this year, we got Battlef Battlefield 1. And then we got the new Call of Duty coming out. So expect a lot of those gameplay footage for you guys expect a lot more content from my channel because i'm doing a lot of upgrades to my channel i'm actually recording this cool news i'm recording this through the elgato uh, game capture card which captures up to 1080p and um, um i think actually right now at the moment i'm actually filming this particular footage at 720 p um which isn't that bad but uh still um really want to get up there to 60 frames per second and 1080p and all that good stuff but guys, if you, again, if you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe for more things awesome gaming. If you are watching this on Facebook, please share this video. Please, please, please share this video. It takes you two seconds. Share it. It will make my life and my dreams come true. I love you guys all. You are all amazing. Peace out.